Okay, for this proof, let's start by figuring out what we are given. We already are given lines L and M cut by transversal T. We also are, also are given that angle 1 is congruent to angle 2. From here, we need to think about what we can use already to prove parallel lines. The only thing we have in our list that proves parallel lines right now is, there it is, postulate 16, the corresponding angle's converse. Meaning we need to get it so that we can show corresponding angles congruent. If we can show corresponding angles congruent, then we can conclude parallel lines. Let's jump back down to our problem. Okay, we want to show corresponding angles congruent. Well, 2 corresponds to this angle 3 up here. We know that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3 already. And that is because vertical angles are congruent. And you're welcome to use this shorthand if you want to. Or you can actually write out the words angles and congruent. Either way works. Now let's look. We want to show that 2 is congruent to 3. Well, we have 1 congruent to 2 and 1 congruent to 3. So we know then that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. And we know this either through substitution or the transitive property. And finally, since 2 and 3 are corresponding angles, we can conclude that L is parallel to M by postulate, I gotta double check this number up here, postulate 16, that's it. Postulate 16, or you can just write corresponding angle converse. And we are done. Let's just write up here, though, that we have statements and we have reasons. Now we have two ways to prove parallel lines. Corresponding angle converse and the alternate interior angle converse. And we'll be, we will use those to prove the other theorems, the alternate exterior angle converse and the consecutive interior angle converse in class. We do have one more theorem, and that's theorem 3.7, the transitive property of parallel lines. What this theorem tells me is that if I have L parallel to M, and so I have L parallel to M, and I have M parallel to N, then L is parallel to N. So if two lines are par parallel to the th same line, then they are parallel to each other. Go ahead, try this homework problem in your notes, and we'll talk about it in class. So given this diagram, I want you to first find X so that P is parallel to Q, then find y so that r is parallel to s. And then lastly, determine can r be parallel to s and p be parallel to q at the same time. Justify your reasoning one way or another. You don't have to give a proof, but solid reasoning to back up your position.